Did you know that some of the most common plants around us can be deadly? Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to the fascinating yet unnerving world of poisonous plants. The earth is teeming with an astounding variety of flora, but amidst this rich tapestry of green lie hidden dangers. Some of the most captivating plants often admired for their beauty can harbor potent toxins capable of causing severe illness and even death. Why is it important to know about these plants, you might wonder? Well, for starters, many of us love to spend time outdoors, basking in nature's beauty. Hikers, campers, bird watchers, or simply those who enjoy a leisurely walk in the park. We all encounter a wide array of plant life. Knowing which ones are harmful could literally be a lifesaver. But it's not just about those who venture into the wild. Even in our own backyards and gardens, dangerous plants can be found. The strikingly beautiful oleander, for instance, is a common sight in many gardens, yet every part of it is laden with deadly toxins. And it's not just a concern for us humans, our furry friends are equally at risk. Dogs, cats, and other pets that love to explore outdoors can inadvertently come in contact with these harmful plants. And let's not forget about the little ones. Children, with their natural curiosity and fondness for picking flowers and berries, are particularly vulnerable. Imagine a child coming across the enticing berries of the deadly nightshade or belladonna. To the untrained eye, they might seem like a fun snack, but the consequences could be dire. So whether you're an avid outdoorsman, a pet owner, a parent, or just someone who enjoys the beauty of plants, it's crucial to arm yourself with the knowledge of these hidden dangers. In the coming segments, we'll be exploring some of the most dangerous poisonous plants, from the common poison ivy to the less known but equally deadly water hemlock and aconite. We'll discuss their identifying characteristics, the toxins they contain, and the symptoms they cause when ingested or touched. So buckle up and stay tuned as we delve into the world of these dangerous plants. First up on our list is the castor bean plant and the oleander, both beautiful yet deadly. The castor bean plant, scientifically known as Racinus communis, is a stunner with its glossy foliage. However, its seeds are the real danger, containing ricin, an incredibly toxic protein. Even a small amount, if ingested, can be fatal. On the other hand, we have the oleander, or nerium oleander, a flowering shrub that captivates with its vibrant blooms. But don't let its beauty fool you. Every part of this plant, from its leaves to its flowers, contains deadly compounds, including oleandrin. Ingesting any part can lead to severe poisoning, with effects targeting the heart and other vital organs. These plants serve as a stark reminder that not all that glitters is gold. They might brighten up your garden, but getting too close can spell disaster. Remember, beauty can indeed be deadly. Moving on, we have the belladonna and digitalis, two plants as deadly as they are fascinating. The belladonna, also known as deadly nightshade, is a plant shrouded in mystery and danger. It's loaded with alkaloids that can be fatal even in small amounts. Consuming the berries or any other part of the plant can lead to alarming symptoms like hallucinations, seizures, and even respiratory failure. Next up is the digitalis, or more commonly known as foxglove. This plant is as beautiful as it is deadly, with compounds called cardiac glycosides coursing through its veins. If you were to ingest any part of this plant, prepare for a whirlwind of unpleasant experiences, heart arrhythmias, nausea, and in severe cases, even death. These plants are a stark reminder that danger often lurks where we least expect it. Next up, we have the water hemlock and aconite, two plants that are as lethal as they are unassuming. On one hand, we have water hemlock, a plant that's considered one of the most toxic in North America. It contains a potent neurotoxin known as cicutoxin. Ingesting even a small amount can lead to severe seizures and, in some cases, death. This plant is a stark reminder that danger can lurk even in the most picturesque waterways. On the other hand, we have aconite, also known as monkshood or wolfsbane. This plant, with its hood-like blue flowers, is a feast for the eyes but a nightmare for the body. It contains alkaloids that wreak havoc on the nervous system, leading to symptoms like vomiting, convulsions, and even cardiac arrest. Remember, even the most innocent-looking plants can harbor deadly secrets. Let's now turn our attention to the angel's trumpet and poison ivy, two plants that can cause severe discomfort and even death. The angel's trumpet, a seemingly innocent ornamental plant, is far from harmless. Brugmansia, as it is scientifically known, is a source of tropane alkaloids. These compounds, if ingested, can lead to hallucinations, paralysis, and in extreme cases, death. While its trumpet-like flowers may be enticing, it's best to admire it from a safe distance. Next up is poison ivy, 
This plant might not be deadly like the others we've discussed, but it can cause severe skin irritation. The culprit? A compound called urushiol, which is found in the plant's sap. Touching it can cause an allergic reaction, leading to an itchy, blistering rash. And if you thought burning it could solve the problem, think again. Inhaling the smoke can cause serious respiratory issues. Always be cautious, even with plants that you might think are harmless. Last but not least, we have hemlock, jimson weed, rhododendron, and azalea. Four plants that are as beautiful as they are dangerous. Let's start with hemlock, otherwise known as conium maculatum. This plant is notorious for its toxic alkaloid, conine. Even small amounts can be lethal when ingested, leading to respiratory failure. Its danger lies in its uncanny resemblance to harmless plants like parsley or wild carrot, making it a silent killer in the wild. Moving on to jimson weed or Datura stramonium. This plant is laden with tropane alkaloids, known for inducing hallucinations and delirium. It's not just the seeds or the berries you need to be wary of, but every part of this plant can pose a threat if ingested. Its white or purple trumpet-shaped flowers may seem inviting, but they hide a potent danger. Next, we come to rhododendrons, garden favorites for their vibrant blooms. But don't let their beauty fool you. These plants contain grainotoxins, which can wreak havoc on both the cardiovascular and nervous systems. Even honey made from their nectar can lead to a phenomenon known as mad honey disease, causing vomiting, dizziness, and in severe cases, even death. Last in our lineup, but certainly not least, is azalea. Like rhododendrons, azaleas are part of the rhododendron genus and share the same toxic properties. Their enticing colors can draw you in, but ingesting any part of these plants can lead to serious health complications. These plants serve as a reminder of the paradox of nature. Beauty often conceals danger. It's crucial to recognize these plants and understand the risks they pose. Whether you're a gardener, a hiker, or simply someone who enjoys the outdoors, remember, the best way to safeguard against these threats is to stay informed and cautious. Remember, knowledge is the best defense against the dangers these plants pose. As we wrap up, it's important to remember that while these plants are dangerous, they are also a vital part of our ecosystem. Each one, from the castor bean plant to the rhododendron, has a role to play in the intricate web of life we're all a part of. Yet, their beauty or usefulness should never distract us from the potential harm they can cause. We've journeyed through a garden of toxic flora, learning about their deadly properties. The castor bean plant, with its lethal ricin, and the oleander, teeming with heart-stopping oleandrin. The belladonna, or deadly nightshade, and the digitalis, or foxglove, both capable of causing hallucinations, seizures, and worse. The water hemlock and aconite, two of the most toxic plants in North America, and the angel's trumpet and poison ivy, both causing a range of symptoms from skin irritation to respiratory issues. We've also encountered the hemlock, often mistaken for edible plants, but containing the toxic alkaloid conine. The jimson weed, a plant that can induce delirium and hallucinations, and the rhododendron and azalea, both beautiful but deadly, affecting the cardiovascular and nervous systems. These are just a few of the plants out there that possess toxic properties. It's crucial to remember that danger can lurk in the most unexpected places. Always be cautious when encountering unfamiliar flora. If you have young children or curious pets, it's even more vital to keep these plants out of their reach. If you suspect that you or someone else has been poisoned by one of these plants, don't wait. Seek immediate medical attention, contact a poison control center if you're unsure, and remember, never use these plants for medicinal purposes without proper knowledge and supervision. The natural world is full of wonders, but it's also full of hazards. It's our responsibility to respect it, to learn about it, and to navigate it safely. Stay safe and remember, the beauty of nature can sometimes hide deadly secrets.